Karen, we were talking about IFAB, Wenger, meeting today, uh, talking about rule change, and we, we, we touched on something. Did you mention Mark Lawrenson and, and Alan Hansen uh, when they played for Liverpool and what Liverpool did in previous yes, years? Yes, I did. Somebody's taken issue with that. Imagine having Martin Keown and Graham Souness on the same show. Graham, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good to speak Mr. to you. Mr. Souness, happy to good speak afternoon. to you. How are you? Yes, I'm good. I'm good. Well, I nearly crashed my car, Martin. <laughs> hey. What you said. No. But I'll tell you, I understand it has made an improvement to the game without a shadow of a doubt. Um, w where I totally disagree with you in terms of Mark Lawrence and Alan Hansen, you could have picked any other partnership that was playing football at that time and, and, and called them um, out on what they, they would do by turning out and going back to the goalkeeper at every opportunity when they were put under pressure. We have named the best two footballing centre halves that arguably this country's ever seen. And Alan Anson, there's never been a better footballing centre half. And oh, I, yeah. played with, I played with him, Martin, and I can tell you, Laura was not far behind him either. He I might have been in front of him. Uh, they were they were two great players, Graham. There's yeah. absolutely no doubt. But when they went in front in games, I remember playing in, in the uh, FA Cup for Aston Villa. Um, we were in the second division. It was top versus both divisions playing against each other just before Christmas back in the day, 1987, and they went in front, honestly, and those two were so, they were masterful in possession, but they kept going back to the keeper. But that's, no, that's what the rules allowed. Martin, you could, you, could, you could have picked any other two centre-backs other than those two. They were the least guilty of turning out and going back all the time. If the game was tight, if they found themselves in front, of course they would do that. But in terms of football in centre-halves, there wasn't anyone better. But and they didn't need to, Graham. They, correct. Wrong. They didn't you need to go back. Any other two. You could have put any other two. I wasn't saying it in a demeaning way for those two. I was saying it really that, I mean, they were the best ball players of our time, those two. Well, but what, well, what, you should have but, said that. I, I but they managed games. We, we, it was being, it was being like said the, in the context, Graham. It was being said in the context of rule changes. So it was, um, it was a throwaway you comment. You picked the wrong one. You well, picked no. the wrong one. Not really, because they would do it. They used it. They managed the game beautifully. They could have attacked. They could have picked any pass they wanted, but they went back to the goalkeeper. You'll have to ask them why they did that, but that was Liverpool I, at that time. Martin, I played with them for about 300 games. I know how good they were. You could should have, have tried playing could, against them. You could have, yeah, well, exactly that. You couldn't get the ball off them. They were, they were midfield players in disguise. That's how technically good they were. And the last thing they would do, the last thing they would do is go back, because every part of our training was geared to look forward and pass it forward. I'm telling you, I played with them. They made life a doddle for me. So if I was getting man marked, I'd just stand still. They would run at them with the ball, run at the two of us with the ball. The guy's got a choice to stay with me or go to Mark Lawrence and or Alan Hansen. I take three steps to the side. They pass it to me and off we go. There wasn't anyone better. You could have picked that. You made it sound for someone who's not seen them playing. You made it sound as if they couldn't play. Oh, and not at all, Graham. They, been, they... well, that's how it sounded. You couldn't have picked you could not have picked the worst two to give an example of. Yeah, but it was the context it was said. If we if we want to reiterate how good they are, they were no they were the finest two centre backs that I I've probably played against. I think Paul McGrath might have come into it, pipped them, maybe, or, or or questioned their you know, their quality. But those two were quite I actually thought Lawrenson with his pace might have been ahead of um, Alan Hansen. So I I'm well versed on those two players, Graham, because as a youngster coming through you'd been watching those. But the thing was, if they needed to manage games, if it needed to go in row Z, they'd do that. And if it needed to go back to the goalkeeper, they'd also do that. Get the, get the tape out on that Villa game against Liverpool and see how many times they go back to the goalkeeper. It's stunning. Martin, I'll come back to it. If I hadn't seen them playing, if I'm someone listening to Jim's show, your show today... But we've corrected that, haven't we? We know how good they were. You did what you have now. You didn't at the time. It was just a throwaway line. <laughs> Listen to it again. I'm the same, Graham. When I hear people on the radio, I, when I hear people, the amount of times I hear Adrian Durham on the radio and I want to ring in myself, so <laughs> well done to you for, for ringing in and, and having it out with me. Listen, Graham, have you got a, bu have you got a busy weekend, mate, with Sky? What, what games are you doing? Martin, Martin's asking me to... to, to I'll, I'll come to that, Jim. One second. Give me 30 more seconds. <laughs> any, any current, any aspiring centre-half, I would suggest they look at the 1984 European Cup final and look at Mark Lawrenson and Alan Hansen as a partnership. They were playing against three World Cup winners, two of the best Brazilians they were playing at the time. They never gave them a sniff. It was, a, it was a, an impeccable performance. And you've seen every part of how you should defend and what you should do when you've got the ball and you pass it forward every opportunity. And yes, I'm working this weekend. I've got, this, I've got this, the Manchester Derby, which I'm looking forward to.
Good man. Good I man. Think, I, I think actually, no, Graham, I mean, it's really interesting to see how you've been triggered on that. But if they were playing today, they, they, they obviously wouldn't be able to go back to the goalkeeper and they'd find a way to be successful. But there's no, that's not in question. Those two um, were probably the two best. I mean, if you, if you look at Van Dyke, there's only Van Dyke maybe that can question their partnership with being the all time best central defenders for Liverpool. Well, let me tell that's you, not question. I'm going to ask to pick the best, the best, the best um, Liverpool team of all time. I go three at the back because you can't leave any of them out. You couldn't leave Mark Lawrence out or Alan Hansen out. I'm telling you, they were so gifted. The, the both of Mark Lawrence did when I was injured or suspended. He was with rapid, wasn't he? Alan Hansen was a midfield player in disguise. You could have put him in an old telephone box with a ball and you couldn't have got it off him. That's how good <laughs> Maybe the way to sort this is to get Eddie Hearn or Frank Warren involved <laughs> and we see Kieran and Sunis in the ring. Oh, I don't uh, want to do that. Listen, did you stop the car then, just to take on Keelan? No, no, I got home. Well, I thought your programme was supposed to get midday, so I thought it was, it was four minutes to 12. I thought, <laughs> I can't get enough in what I want to say in that period. And then you came back after midday, and I thought, I'll, I'll pull my own. Let's friend. have it. <laughs>